Hey guys, I'm back with another Marvel um, action figure to review for you guys. So this one is the Amazing Spider-Man Glider Attack Green Goblin. Um, so it's ages four and up, made by Hasbro. Um, uh, nothing on the sides. It's some. So here's something you guys can read if you want to. The Green Goblin soars into action on his missile launching attack glider. Um, then I want you to visit Hasbro.com slash Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man dot com. Here's the collect them all figures. So here's other figures you guys can collect from this line. So there's Power Arm, Dr. Octopus, there's Mega Cannon Spider-Man, there's Symbio Strike Spider-Man, and there's Capture Trap Spider-Man. So I'm actually aiming for Doc Ock and Symbiote Strike Spider-Man. So, yeah. Here's some other things on the bottom. So, yeah. Just looking at this figure in the box just looks really nice. So I'm excited to show you guys what he looks like after I take him out. And uh, we'll see what he looks like. So here's the figure. Just looks so amazing. And just to pick this figure out. Oh my gosh. You can see the reflection in the background. I think you guys can. Like the shadow. Looks nice. Um, so... I'm going to review the glider first, and then I'll show you guys the figure. So here you go. Here's the glider. Um, so there's that. Oh my gosh. There you go, so you guys can see all this. There's not that much to the glider. Just little detailing, but... There's one feature I do like. Epic Shadow. Shoots. Oh, drop the background. Oh my gosh. And it does keep flapping. And the color changes in there. So. Really cool figure. See that? So. Now I'm going to show you guys the figure. So here he is. Mr. Green Goblin himself. So, um, he's a really cool figure. I'm so happy I found him. Um, one thing though, I wish he could have came with like a little pumpkin grenade. All you see is his hand open like this, but you know, he, he kind of deserves a pumpkin grenade. I, I think... The Hasbro should have put that inside this. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, as far as articulation goes, 360 head. So, um, 360 arm, which I do like a lot. Um, what else is there? The, the legs don't spread because they're not on a ball joint. The knee has, um, one... Um, articulated knees, like, so you can only bend it once. It doesn't have, like, like the Marvel Universe figures where they have, like, two. The elbow, same. Um, you can't turn it, though, unless you have to turn the whole, you have to, to turn the whole arm around. But, over overall, this is a really cool figure to have. I'm so lucky to find him. Just, like, looking at his face... Looks like if he just came out that cartoon. If you guys ever saw that um, Spider-Man cartoon, it was really amazing. That was a really amazing cartoon. It looks straight out of that cartoon. Oh my gosh, you guys don't know how much awesome, how much detail was put into this figure. My gosh. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have everything set up. And tell you guys my opinion on this figure. So, my overall opinion about this figure. It is really nice. Uh, I recommend it for collectors or hobbyists that just like Marvel. Or just like Spider-Man in general. He's a really cool figure to have. 
I was really lucky to find them at my local Five and Below, which I did not mention. I picked them up at my local Five and Below. I was really lucky to find them there. So, you know, it's good to have them. I recommend this figure to anyone. So, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, so, bye, you guys.